14 budget amendments. Before we do that, we have to get our, our department reports. So would the council mind if we slide those in before we do these uh, budget amendments? Um, Mr. Jeff, why don't you come on up here? This is Jeff Patterson. He is our uh, new main supervisor. And Jeff's been working diligently on, on many different things. Jeff, fill us in on how to make this one. Appreciate the council. You guys taking having confidence in me. And I don't want to let you guys down. I'm going to pass a piece of paper around. I didn't have time, but as we're talking, you guys can look at it. This is something that we're doing with the, uh, telling you guys what, what me and Mr. Billy's doing. Uh, I started the second page. I got some mileage on the truck when we start and when we end. Uh, there's some things we got to work out on times that you will see. But uh, start right here at the end. I'll ask you about it, see what you guys think about it. But uh, riding through the city, I've noticed a few things I'd like to bring to your attention is uh, down there on Collins, and Essa is the leak, and is, it can be pretty bad. Uh, we also got an issue on Lawrence and Essa. Uh, Lawrence is the big one that a lot of people have been getting stuck in the uh, little trucks. Uh, we went down there, me and Miss Ann, and looked at the flags, and we got stuck. And it wasn't right. And it is an issue that you guys need to look at about it. Uh, I noticed on Collins Street, there's two potholes that we <coughs> going to get fixed. One down here by the fire station as you go on uh, Bellevue Road as you turn, there's a big pothole there. There's another one down by Miss Mary's house. There's a pothole. That we, Mary. It was served on council on this is it Mary Dale? Ruby. Ruby Dale, excuse me, I'm sorry. Ruby Dale's house. That oh, we need to, yes, ma'am. That we need to address. Don't we have any of that mix? Yes, we do. Uh, Billy's supposed to be back Monday. If he, he knows how to do it, uh, if he shows me, it's no problem. I have another issue with some of the road uh, on Jackson Circle. I don't know if we take care of that maintenance, but down there in the circle by a manhole, you can see where they dug out. They put some asphalt, but then up there, it's full of dirt, about a three foot section, just full of dirt. It don't look like it's had any asphalt in it. Well, what side of, is it? Uh, what's it? I don't know. I'll it looks like that. I didn't ask. Well, I didn't ask you that. She don't know. Uh, <laughs> that's just me riding around. Yeah. I've been I'm riding and looking. I'm a scooter, I believe. Yes, sir. That's that hole's been in there. It's been there for a while. But it is, but it is city but city I think it is city property. Okay. okay. Another yeah. one I have noticed, I don't know the street from, that is in front of Jackson Circle. There's a culvert there on the turn, and it's pretty bad too. If you meet traffic, you can hit it. We might need to put some there. I think when you turn, before you turn in Jackson Circle, there's a culvert, uh, and there's Teresa. a pothole. Is it Teresa? Yes, ma'am, Teresa, right there. We need to look at that. Uh, yes, yes, sir. I think we do. Me and Mr. Billy, for the first week, we kind of rode around looking for limbs, any debris brought into the stop signs. Uh, basically, trying to clean when the rain was here, we was trying to clean out gutters, making sure we had steady flow. Uh, I had uh, a, a person that was working some community service. We started deck down here at the railroad track to start cleaning them gutters, or cleaning the sidewalks, not the sidewalks, but the curves. Well, the curves. And we went like five blocks and got 10 loads of sand and trash. 
Uh, we put the sand out in the low spots around some of the roads here. Uh, we can take some down, also down to the park, and cover that up. Try to fill up the potholes okay. if we're going to do that. Uh, there is some issues that we're still working out, trying to take inventory, trying to get back. Uh, one thing I want to touch base: uniforms. Uh, this is one of the uniforms I was looking at. This is the uniform I'm looking at. Uh, we look professional. People's out. First picture they see is us working. I think that's a really acquired to. Uh, this is one. Basically, I want to get two shirts, two pairs of pants, and get a billy with two pairs of pants and two pairs of shirts. Yeah, with the shoes. envelope, and, you know, Lake Park maintenance in our names. And uh, it's in my budget. And I just wanted to touch base with you about that. Uh, um, yeah, you see. <coughs> <coughs> That's pretty tough. Why not five? Well, we're, we're kind of living on the budget. And it's... I'll go over the budget and I, I'm trying to keep everything. We can manage it with two for this year. Is it enough on? I think it needs probably story. I would just get it one for every day. How much is the uniform service? Can we look into that? Very expensive. Very, expensive. Very, expensive. Very, expensive. Very, expensive. very expensive. Very expensive. Very expensive. This right here is 60 or $86. That's cheap for a uniform. Yeah. Um, this right here. I know, but what I'm talking about is they bring it and they. Yeah, I called them and it, it's. We're talking about 200, 250. Uh huh. Yes. I still think it's worth it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's not going to ask for it. I think if you have three, you can rotate it for the week. Okay. Um, well, I'll try three to make it. So we'll try three. three and then come back and we'll. we'll uh, Yes, sir. I, think they, I think that uniform will show up. You're wearing steel toe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we're going to get, I talked to a lady. She said she put Lake Park Mains and our name for $9 on each. Right. So if we brought the shirt. Sure. No, first. No, just $9 each shirt. So uh, I, would, I only check with her. I could check with the other ones to make sure that we got, you know, that's the cheapest. Uh, Next issue. So um, when it's 100 and y'all are out working, are you gonna you gonna need an alternate like a t-shirt or something on well, those days? Well, this is just... real thin, mm -hmm. and that's why we asked for it. Uh, I mean, it's got the pockets, in, you know, the air vent in your back. Uh, Does that wipe away the sweat? It absorbs, and uh, I mean, I was running around with three shirts on today trying on stuff. I mean, I felt comfortable. Uh, so that's one thing. And I appreciate that with three shirts. The next thing I want to talk about kind of is getting a letter out. Since we, I took over Maine's, uh, trying to tell the people, we're trying to push with the water department and stuff, with you guys getting the grant out how we're going to, uh, if we have complaints about the water, the smell, if they would get in touch with me where I can make a chart or, you know, write up something on it, a complaint or something, you know, uh, to document it. Uh, Saturday night or Sunday night, I got called out at 10 o'clock. The lady said the water was brown. I went to her house. I got some water. Talked to her, told her what it was. She asked, can we take a bath? Yes, ma'am, you can take a bath. Uh, or, you know, can we drink it? Yes, ma'am. If you don't mind, I'll take a drink and, you know, it's fine. I, I talked to her, she was very happy about it, that I came, that she got somebody. Uh, and I documented everything and I put it in a work order. We put it down there, that's something that we can use for when we start getting the water grant, we'll have that. Right. We need to, uh, to document. I see you've already documented, and 
the uh, water needed water to. Need to. Yeah. And, uh, the one that's more on that account. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, I also want to get out to tell the citizens that we're trying to uh, get some community people to go around the neighborhoods picking up trash, sweeping, sweep, sweeping streets, uh, getting sand out of the way. We're going to be cutting some of this grass that's grown up over the roads. If they have a, any, old, mostly the older ones, trying to get them, if they need some help doing little stuff. We have these community people, and uh, they're actually going right now, going to about also. I think the chief can touch on this more about it with the probation. I want to be open on a Saturday to come in on Saturdays where we can work these probation people, give them eight hours, and they can work in our community because they're supposed to be working in our community instead of going somewhere else. We need them here, and I want to do that. I give them the option to work Monday through Friday with me, and then on Saturday, you know, if they're off work, they can come and help do stuff. We need stuff painted. We need stuff sanded. Uh, that is something that I want to try to get going with the city. Uh, basically, uh, pretty much, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, oh, thinking about one thing. Excuse me. I want to see if I'm able to take the company truck home. Uh, I'm going out on calls at night. I took my vehicle last time. I ain't planning to go nowhere. I live here in Lake Park, only two blocks away. Uh, I want to kind of touch base with you guys about that, see what you guys think. I don't have a problem with you packing it home. Um, do you, uh, have no, I'll, make, I'll make a motion that we let him take it home to be used for city business only. Okay. We have a motion for uh, Jack to take home his maintenance, city maintenance vehicle uh, to be used for city use only. Yes, sir. You have a second? second. Okay. You have a second? Discussion? Yeah, I think that when he goes on calls, he should take him to city vehicle so that the people's house that he's going to knows that well. he's a that's like when I went Saturday, I was in my personal vehicle. I didn't have no kind of formal, no shirts, nothing to say. I worked with Lake Park. The poor lady came to the door. I had to call her to make sure, you know, show her that I was who I was because she called. Uh, that's another thing going with uniforms, some kind of form of ID. Yeah, I we think need. they need an ID to uh, go around their neck. I think the chief's going to take care of that. So she's great. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. uh, another thing is we uh, on the company truck is a bunch of fittings. If we have any leaks, we have everything that I've seen so far to fix it. Yeah. I like it. I, I hate to interrupt you, but we're in the middle of a motion. Oh. We, never, we never had a uh, vote, so we had a motion. We have a second. We're still in discussion. All in favor? Y'all remember what the question was, right? Mm -hmm. okay. With me taking the truck home, like I said, I got the parts to fix any kind of leak. If I'm called out, my number's on the board and stuff. I will do want to try to get with Lake Park, the hardware store, try to get with them some after hours if something we do need that they got. I have a number with them. Uh, <coughs> That's it. Sounds good, Joe. All right. Appreciate it. Oh, Jim. Yes, sir. This is excellent. Thank you so much for sharing that. It keeps the council at bay. Yeah, I'm great. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's another thing with this, I know with the times on this thing, I didn't know if you looked with the times. <coughs> you got every 30 minutes at the side. On the other side, I'm going to try to see how long we take. Uh, like I said, the mileage is with the truck when we start it in. If there's anything else, Thank call you. me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before we uh, have the next uh, department head, I, I humbly apologize for not 